Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's June 14th, 2010. Well, we've got uh, the dollar down sharply here this morning, over 100 points as we speak. Crude oil is 200 plus higher as we speak, and stock market's expected to open at least 70 to 75 higher here, the way it uh, is uh, showing on the uh, futures at this point in time. One of the main things that caused the uh, dollar weakness here today is the industrial production report out of the uh, EU here this morning uh, suggests more uh, growth this month uh, during the month of April than was expected. So that's uh, that's got the dollar uh, showing some weakness here today. We've got some major reports out this week, U.S. industrial production reports out this week. Housing starts is out this week. And uh, weather reports is also uh, causing some uh, uh, important bias here today. The uh, rain uh, should uh, continue here first few days of this week, and then again uh, beginning of the next week, uh, we should see some more moisture, and it appears like rain makes grain. Uh, the corn market uh, took a trip down to the St. Louis area here over the weekend, and uh, the corn crop looks fantastic throughout the entire state of Illinois. However, there is some soybeans that need to be planted yet, and we'll probably get that uh, in the report this afternoon on planting uh, progress, that soybean planting is not complete, but uh, down in southern Illinois, uh, they can plant soybeans later and still have a very good crop as long as that rain continues to come. Other things that are happening, the USDA did announce here this morning that uh, China bought 120,000 tons of 2009-2010 corn. Uh, that should provide some support here today. And the uh, China uh, government has uh, made a, an order that they want an accounting of all the reserve grain, and that, gr that report needs to be uh, released and will be released on July 25th. So that is, uh, they're uh, getting concerned about uh, the amount of grain that they have in, in their reserve, and uh, they've been counting on it as to fill up the, uh, the deficiencies, and that uh, should provide some support here to the market also here this morning. We're calling things higher today. It was, overnight we were uh, steady to one higher in the corn, three to five higher in beans, uh, wheat uh, kind of following along with the action. But I think that uh, we're going to be uh, higher than that more than likely off of this uh, weaker dollar here today and the strength in the crude oil. Uh, we've got technical resistance uh, at 352 in the July corn uh, support all the way down at the uh, 335 area. Uh, soybeans, uh, we've hit this resistance level so many times here in the last several weeks at the 352 level and then again at, or at 952 and then again at 960. If we can break through that, I would assume we're going to have uh, some more stops hit and we might even take the market up uh, uh, here for a few days as the, uh, uh, the technical action would, uh, would guide us there. Support on the beans in the July contract down around the 930 area. Wheat uh, has been uh, sideways here for a while, sideways to lower, uh, consolidated the last few days. 960 is a key level of uh, resistance in the uh, in the July wheat. And the wheat harvest is has begun down in southern Illinois. Uh, however, with the rains that uh, continue to roll through that area, uh, the maturity is uh, still uh, behind here a few days. And the, uh, they are getting concerned about uh, quality problems uh, because of all the rain that they've had. So that's something to uh, to watch here very closely. Uh, support coming in the wheat, however, is off of the uh, uh, Canadian seedings. That uh, the forecast there has uh, showed some delayed in Canadian seedings, and that is providing some support for the wheat. And believe me, when you look at the supply and demand situation in wheat, we need all the help we can get as far as uh, providing some positive news there. In the cattle trade, uh, the week ended cash markets down around the 92 to 92 and a half area. Uh, that's 
uh, off of a week ago at 94 to 94 and a half. So uh, cattle, cash cattle sold off sharply. Uh, product continues to slide. On Friday, we had choice down 199 with select down 94. Uh, this uh, pressure in the beef is continuing to uh, weigh on the cash side of things, and that uh, probably isn't going to see its turn here until we can change our attitude in the stock market and we've got to control the supplies again. All of a sudden, we've, uh, we've backed up as far as the amount of uh, beef that we've got available at the counter, at the retail counter, and that uh, is going to uh, slow us up here in changing this trend. So technically, we, uh, we've got support on the, the uh, August cattle, 86.62 with uh, resistance around that 8860. So a pretty good range there that we've been in, but uh, do have uh, some technical support here. I think if we take out this 8662 uh, level, there uh, could be some more stops that could be activated. In the hogs, uh, the uh, pork cutout was higher there on Friday. Cash hogs this morning are uh, stronger. It is uh, the, the timing and the uh, uh, suggestion that we should see a low in this cash hog market here very soon. We think that uh, with the action that we've seen late last week and the beginning of this week already is that uh, you can start talking about a bottom in this cash hog market. Technically, of course, in the futures, we're going to be controlled by the, uh, the funds and the outside markets, but uh, we have held that 200-day moving average so far in the July contract. We've got support around the 77-75 area with resistance at 79, and then again at the uh, $80 level. Uh, we still are oversold in the pork complex, but uh, we are uh, looking for a place to get long these hogs, and stay tuned to Allendale Research, and we'll give you that uh, update as soon as we uh, put out a recommendation. If anybody's got any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call here at Allendale at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very successful trading day. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.